Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mrs. G. In this video, we are going to be looking at the 2014 Integrated Science Paper 2. Let's get to it. So we're starting with section A. Amelia is studying the water cycle and she draws the following diagram. A, identify the processes represented by the arrows A, B, and C, and you should write your answers in the spaces that are provided in figure one. So on figure one, we can clearly see the sun here, and we know the role that the sun would play. These would have been our clouds. Um, this is a water body. And we have trees, homes, and a little boat on the water. With that in mind, we are going to identify the processes based on the arrows that are there. So the arrow for A here is pointing at the clouds. So we know that that would have been condensation. And the arrow for B, you are seeing that is from the clouds to the ground. So we know that would have been precipitation. So precipitation is the general term for any amount of liquid that is falling from the sky. So that may be in the form of rain, snow, sleet, hail, etc. And for letter C, we are seeing that it is leaving the water body going up, so that would have been evaporation. So that would have been our answer for A1. Now for A2, state two uses that Amelia may have for water other than drinking. So this one, we can just think about this. Two things that Amelia can use the water for apart from drinking. So Amelia can use the water for, we can say, household purposes or domestic purposes. You don't have to say that though, you can actually list them out. So Amelia can use the water for cooking, she can use it for bathing, she can use it for washing, she can use it for agricultural purposes, etc. Right, so I'm just putting more than two here, but the question asked you for two, so you would have only placed two in that area. Next question says, suggest one reason why after drinking untreated water here, Amelia's cousin became very sick. So that is a one mark question. So Drinking unclean water or untreated water can cause people to get sick for several different reasons, but they're only asking you to give one. Um, one may be the presence of bacteria in the water. Presence of bacteria, not only bacteria, you can also have harmful microorganisms. So you would only write one. We can also say, I'll just put this up here, pathogenic organisms that are found in the water. So any of these things could make Amelia's cousin sick because she would be drinking untreated river water. Next one, name two methods that Amelia's community can use to treat the river water to make it suitable for drinking. So there is boiling, well you're only required to do two, but there is boiling, there is filtration, there is chlorination, or distillation. So even if you go in the exam and you don't remember some of these things, you can think of your own situation. Think of the agency that is responsible for water in your particular country. Um, in Jamaica, that is NWC. We know what they do with the water. We know that they use some amount of chlorination as well as filtration. Other 
areas or other homes may utilize boiling, etc. So you can think about these so that you can come up with your responses. Next question. Amelia's community is surrounded by a very large forest. The residents are very concerned about rumors that a logging company plans to cut the forest for lumber and to build factories. One, state one effect the cutting of the forest will have on the water cycle. First of all, the question specifically said the water cycle. So you can't just give a general effect of cutting down forest you have to give something relating to the water cycle. So you can't just say soil erosion. We know that that is an effect from cutting down the forest, but it is not related to the water cycle. So you have to be specific where that is concerned. You have to read your questions carefully. So one way that cutting down the forest can affect the water cycle is that it can reduce water vapor that would be coming from the trees reduce water vapor that is entering the atmosphere it could also reduce precipitation in the area so that is another effect that we could have so it it only asked us to state one but you know we can just have two there so that you have a better idea of what you could possibly write. Next one, the logging company plants, sorry, the logging company plans to plant trees which are poisonous to many of the local herbivores to replace those which were cut down. State one way in which this would affect the food webs in the forest. So again, they are very specific about what it is affecting or what you should write about. This says how it will affect the food webs in the forest. So planting of poisonous trees would reduce the number of herbivores that are present. We could also say that it would reduce the number of omnivores, the number of omnivores, and naturally it's the food web. So if you are reducing the number of herbivores, you would also end up reducing the number of carnivores. You will have animals that are migrating because their source of food is either no longer present or there is a limited supply. So we could also say reduce the number of, let me write carnivores here, And we would have consumers turning to other sources of food. So if that source that they normally get is no longer available, then they will turn to other sources of food. Consumers turning to other sources of food. If you have a question, if you do not understand something, please feel free to just go ahead and write your comment in the comment section below. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos on integrated science as well as our other subjects. Let us know if you would like to see more integrated science so we can still go ahead and do some more. Um, let us continue. In order to control flooding in the lowlands, the government built a large lake, which is a dam, near Amelia's home. A considerable amount of hydroelectric power is now produced by this dam to replace several diesel burning power stations. State one benefit to the environment of using hydroelectric power. All right, so we are seeing from the question here that what they had initially was diesel burning power stations. We know that these are very harmful for the environment because of the harmful gases that they let out. So one benefit to the environment would be lower levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere 
and we know that lower levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere assist with the reduction of greenhouse gases by extension global warming etc but all of that is not necessary here they simply asked us to state one benefit so lower levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere there would also be less global warming and we can just leave those two so um, that would have been one benefit of using the hydroelectric power instead of the diesel burning power stations next question identify one negative effect Negative is in bold, so we must pay attention to those things. When you're doing your exam, pay attention to everything that is in all caps, as well as in bold. They are reminding you that those things are very important. So identify one negative effect on the local environment of building the dam. So if they're going to be building, building the dam, how will that affect the local environment? How will that affect the area where Amelia is living? First of all, to build the dam, they will need to clear the forest. So one way would have been deforestation. That would have been one negative effect. Another negative effect would have been disruption of the ecosystem. So species would have been displaced their habitats would have become fragmented etc so disruption of ecosystems we can also say soil erosion and the possibility or the potential for landslides as well all right so that is one negative effect on the local environment next question state one way the large lake may affect the water cycle. So something that I want you to notice about these questions is that they are very specific. They're asking you specifically what, how it will affect a particular thing. So if you're just rushing through the paper, you will answer something else that they're not even asking you about, right? So this one, for example, it is saying exactly how it will affect the water cycle. So that must be the response that you give. Your response must be related specifically to the water cycle. So the large dam, that means you have a very large source of water. So of course, there will be more evaporation taking place, which would leave more water vapor in the atmosphere and then when you have more water vapor more evaporation clouds are filling up then you will have more precipitation that is taking place as well so again they had only asked for one so we had given you two just the same so you have different responses and you can see how these questions can be answered so we are going to stop here for now um, if you would like to see more integrated science videos please go ahead subscribe to the channel send us a message share this one with your friends once we see that then we will go ahead and try to put in some more integrated science past paper videos before your exam thank you so much for watching it is always our pleasure to assist you